Hey guys, Mystery Wheel Gunner back here with you again. Just another fun little video blowing up some more ice. You know, for science. A little while ago, I tested a mild load of the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. I'll just go ahead and reiterate the loading info right here. 2,226 foot-pounds is an impressive amount of energy, but it is on the lighter side of what the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum can do. Like I said, this is a mild loading. In a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum vs. Jason Voorhees video, I shot this loading into a 1 gallon ice block backed up by a 1 gallon jug of water. This resulted in the destruction of both the ice block and the water jug. Today, I'll shoot the same loading at two 1 gallon blocks of ice. Let's get started. Interesting result, the bullet destroyed the first ice block, but it bounced off of the second one. You can see the impact point here, a part of the bullet is stuck in the ice, but overall not a lot of damage to the second ice block. So upon exiting the first ice block, this loading would have had enough energy to destroy a jug of water but not enough energy to do notable damage to another ice block. I was able to recover the bullet. As you can see, great expansion on the Hornady FTX. And here you can see the part of the bullet that got sheared off and got stuck in the second ice block. Well, since the second ice block is largely intact, we can shoot it again. And no surprises with that result. So, now for the super scientific conclusions. 300 grain Hornady FTX bullet with a muzzle energy of 2,226 foot-pounds beats a one gallon ice block and a one gallon jug of water, but cannot defeat two one gallon ice blocks. And that'll do it for this little video. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time.